Frontier Opening Bell, Tuesday, the 17th of October. Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, the show. Let, let's get straight into the market. Egypt's stock market is on a roller coaster up about 5.15% since the start of the week for over three sessions. Uh, again, the markets are uh, taking in news around the deal with the IMF. Then, of course, Saudi Arabia and the UAE are, are renewing their $10 billion deposits with the Egypt's uh, central bank. Then, of course, our investors are hedging a further devaluation, possible devaluation of the Egyptian a pound after December's election. So that's keeping the Egyptian stock market on a roller coaster, 3.48% on Monday, crossing the 21,000 threshold. The Nigerian market down for the second day, down by a quarter of a percent on Monday on the news that the uh, Nigerian authority is securing additional, uh, a fresh $1.5 billion loan from the um, World Bank. And most likely the currency will go down a lot more further. On the streets in Lagos, Nigeria's currency is trading 1,050 against the US dollar. So the stock market is taking a bit of a hit. Two sessions back to back in the red, finished red on Friday and again on Monday, starting the new week uh, after the finance minister and the new central bank governor uh, re returned to the country from the World Bank IMF uh, annual meetings in Marrakesh, Morocco. The BRVM continued to pipe on back to 100, 211 and the composite up by 0.22%. The Nairobi stock market just a tad of 0.02% in the negative 33.93.35 and the GSC up by 0.32% Monday at 73,145.7. Let's take it down. Look at the big stories currently making headlines in East Africa. Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni is sitting among other African some other African presidents from Mozambique, from Namibia and from uh, Senegal today, this morning, to speak to the state of Africa's energy sector. Uh, he's among the presidents from around Africa speaking at the African Energy Week 2023 forum starting officially today with a plenary at about nine o'clock local time in Cape Town, South Africa. The IMF is looking to renew Kenya's program next month and will, that was expected to unlock further funding for the President Ruto's administration. And Tanzania's central bank has introduced three classes of FX Bureau to help the country manage the shortage of foreign currency in the country. And Uganda hits about 24 million bank accounts in so far this year. That's much higher than just about 8 million, 6 million back in 2018. More, uh, Ugandans are opening bank accounts to get a whole lot more in financial inclusion. In the meantime, good deals from Istanbul, where the Africa Finance Corporation and the Talk Exim Bank, Export Import Bank, signed an agreement for, uh, regional intercooperation in investment in trade and a few other areas. And that's some good news that, uh, the continent in Africa can use. That deal, uh, came through the, this week. Let's get on to the West Africa and check in with Nigeria's inflation reading a stronger 26.72% in the month of September, higher than the August figure of about 25.8%. Food inflation in Nigeria, Africa's big Biggest economy, a most populous country, reading about uh, thirty point five percent for the month just behind us. In the meantime, President Tinubu's cabinet has okayed the new medium-term expenditure framework of about twenty six trillion naira for the 2024-2026 uh, uh, period. The budget for next year is being put together, and the president announced that the federal cabinet meeting traditionally held on Wednesdays will now be held every Monday, and that's one change. There's still a whole lot more changes that President Chinobu's administration is bringing on board with new appointments and swearing in of three new ministers on Monday. The flotation of a new African energy bank was announced yesterday by the African Petroleum Producers Organization here in Cape Town, South Africa. The head of the organization, Dr. Omar Farouk Ibrahim, says this final signing of the documents for the shareholders and setting up the bank are uh, supported by African Bank will take place on November the 2nd in Cotonou, Benin Republic. In Ghana, petrol pump prices down slightly from today, the 17th of um, 
or from Monday yesterday, effectively uh, yesterday, uh, when those prices uh, came down slightly because, again, we've seen uh, global oil prices uh, uh, move a little bit. Then you got the AFDB uh, looking to issue this first hybrid capital bond by the end of this year. Those are some of your headlines from West Africa. Let's touch with South Africa, where, of course, the billionaire businessman Crystal Ways has sold uh, shop price shares worth about 50 million US dollars to start the new week. And Sasso Cassie limited shareholders will be holding their annual general meeting on October the 28th. That's going to be next week. It was the end of the month. And Botswana's September consumer prices are up at 3.7% on a year-on-year basis. Our trade balance widened to about 206 million Kwanzaa in the month of August. And the AFDB Group, the African, uh, 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 the Africa's Development uh, Bank Group, has okayed 125 million dollars for climate resilience program in oil rich Angola. So let's finish up in North Africa with Egypt in the. Uh, part of the whole conversation around the Israel Hamas war that's currently going on and working with all the parties to ensure there's a humanitarian corridor to Gaza. The Saudi Arabia and UAE doing that $10 billion deposits with the Egypt Central Bank is making, uh, is uh, getting the market up and running in North Africa's biggest economy. In the meantime, the European uh, Bank for Reconstruction and Development, the EBRD, is approving $325 million loan for four Egyptian banks. That's an additional support in finances and foreign currency that Egypt is getting. And ExxonMobil is considering expansion of its operations in Egypt. While Tunisia's central bank says its foreign currency assets down about 449 million dinars in the month of August, uh, while Africa's Bank and Morocco have uh, put paint to paper for $1 billion trade and investment support. And those are your headlines from across Africa. This is your Frontier Opening Bell. I am Bosun Amafai. Do have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you again next time.